This is why you subscribe to Chicago Bears now. Two videos in one day because the Bears have signed a quarterback. We'll break down the signing in just a moment, but hit that big red button. Turn on those notifications, which you're going to want to do because the schedule drops tomorrow night, and we'll have a video out as soon as it drops. So subscribe. Daily Bears videos. No other channel does it like we do here at Bears Now by Chat Sports. You're watching Chicago Bears now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. We've got some breaking news. The Bears have signed a quarterback, and his name is Nathan Peterman. Yes, that Nathan Peterman who infamously threw five interceptions in one half once upon a time. He spent the last couple of years off and on the Raiders roster and practice squad. Tom Pelissero broke the news saying free agent quarterback Nathan Peterman is signing a one-year contract with the Bears per source. Peterman, who opened the 2018 season as the Bills starter ahead of Josh Allen, spent the last few seasons with the Raiders. Now he joins Justin Fields and Trevor Simeon in Chicago. So a complete revamping of the quarterback depth behind Justin Fields. Nick Foles gone. Ryan Willis was cut, by the way, in this move as well. Now you got Fields, Simeon, and Nathan Peterman. We'll break down this signing, talk a little bit more about it on today's show. But first, what's your one-word reaction to the Bears signing Nathan Peterman? Let me know down in the comment section. My one word is, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. So Nathan Peterman, who is a journeyman at this point, still young, uh, has some you know good athletic traits, strong arm, obviously has never been known as a good decision maker as a quarterback in the National Football League. You look at his preseason stats with the Raiders uh, in 2021 uh, last year, 593 yards, two touchdowns, four picks, got a lot of uh, playing time in the preseason for Las Vegas. This is what Nathan Peterman is. He's a fine QB3, nothing more, nothing less. That is what Nathan Peterman is. Uh, coaches seem to like him. He's good in the locker room. Okay, he could be another source for Justin Fields and Trevor Simeon. Like, you know, he'll fight for a roster spot. We'll see if the Bears carry three quarterbacks on their final 53-man roster. Obviously, you need at least a third quarterback for the offseason with OTAs, training camp, mini camps, all that good stuff. But – QB3, that's kind of what you're getting here with uh, with uh, Nathan Peterman uh, now on a one-year deal. More to break down with the Peterman signing and a couple of other news and notes as well. But first, follow us on Rumble. The Bears now have been on Rumble for the past couple of months. Uh, we've got free and uncensored content over there. And plus, there are more creators on Rumble. It's another video uh, outlet for you guys to go check out content around sports, news, politics, business, tech, lots of technological stuff going on in the world that interests me. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out. Cool feature of the Rumble app compared to YouTube, for example, you have to have YouTube premium to swipe out of the app and still listen podcast style. That's not the case with Rumble. Uh, you can have other apps open while uh, listening to me or other creators. Bonus Bears content from time to time as well. Subscribe over there. Give us a follow. Rumble.com slash Bears. Now let's get to a thousand followers as soon as possible. So here's the updated depth chart at quarterback. Obviously, Justin Fields, the starter. Trevor Simeon, the backup. Nathan Peterman, QB3. Ryan Willis was waived in the move. I guess he did not perform well at uh, rookie minicamp uh, that he participated in this past weekend. So, uh, the Bears have their three quarterbacks. I imagine this is what they will roll with uh, during uh, the offseason. And again, uh, Peterman, maybe he's your practice squad quarterback. Uh, maybe he makes the roster. We'll have to wait and see. Do you like this move? Type Y for yes, type in for no, type IDC for I don't care. I think that's a perfectly fine response as well. I'm fine with it. He's better than Ryan Willis, so uh, that's kind of my thoughts on that. I mean, that's basically my only thought is that he's better than Ryan Willis, so sure, I like it from that standpoint. This won't be a big financial commitment whatsoever. It's a minimum uh, contract for Nathan Peterman on a one-year deal, a guy who, like I said, is a QB3 at best. Now, insert sarc sarcastic font here. 
I guess RG3 isn't joining the Bears now that you sign Nathan Peterman because Robert Griffin III recently hopped on the Rich Eisen show and made a pitch to why he thinks he'd be a good fit uh, for the Chicago Bears uh, to help Justin Fields. But with Trevor Simeon, with Nathan Peterman, you're not signing a Robert Griffin III at this point in time. Uh, I never thought that would happen. If there was any chance, uh, I think this cements that uh, as it will not be happening for Chicago. Now, I'm going live on call-in uh, pretty soon. So if you're watching before 5 o'clock Central uh, here on Wednesday, come join us over there, uh, chatsports.com slash Bears call I'll put the link to today's uh, room, as they call it, uh, in the comments of this video. Come join us. Ask me your Bears question. We'll chop it up as well. If you're watching after 5 o'clock Central today on Wednesday, the link down below is uh, for you guys to subscribe on call We're going to go live every single week. The call app is a social audio podcasting app. It's Twitter Spaces meets podcasts. Uh, we go live with episodes. You guys can answer uh, or ask me questions by hopping in the caller queue. I'll pod you on and uh, sports radio style. We will uh, talk back and forth. It's a lot of fun. If you missed tonight's show, subscribe. You'll be able to join us next week because we're going to go live at least once per week uh, for the next several months. Uh, circling back to the news, Nathan Peterman signing a one-year contract with the Bears. It started with the Bills. It didn't go well. Went to the Raiders. John Gruden liked him for some reason. I saw a couple DMs. Are they going to hire John Gruden as a senior assistant? That's not going to happen. Uh, I wouldn't uh, keep that much of a thought on that. Why don't you go to me full screen here, Trace? I do want to hit a couple of other notes uh, going on around the Bears today. Adam Johns, the athletic. I'm just going to read this off Twitter here. Uh, also had the note of Peterson signing a one-year deal. Apparently, he did have uh, interest from other teams. Also, the Bears worked out wide receiver Dante Pettis, former second third-round pick, can't remember which, day two pick, uh, and tight end Austin Fort. So a couple of workouts over there at Hallis Hall taking place. Also, keep in mind, this schedule drops tomorrow uh, in the NFL. We'll find out the Bears' schedule by uh, tomorrow night at the latest, and we will have a video for that. So be sure to subscribe. There's been a couple of leaks, a lot of rumors that the Bears could be facing the Lions in week one. I'd be cool with that. I know Don Burr. I know you're watching. We can have a little friendly wager on that week one game. So subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll have a full video breakdown of the Bears 2022 schedule. Uh, and uh, as more leaks drop, I uh, will try to have you guys uh, informed on my Twitter and Instagram at HGramNFL. All right, before we go, Nathan Peterman signing with the Bears. Type Bear down in the comments. Come on. Can we get it going here? Spam it down below. Get the bear downs going down in the comments. We need the positive vibes as Chicago progresses through this offseason. Now, what I don't want to see is a lot of, you know, why are we signing Nathan Peter? It's a QB3. It's an upgrade from Ryan Willis. That is all that this is. If you're positive, if you're excited about this team right now, type bear down in the comments, and we will see you guys soon here on Chicago Bears Now.